was like, Zim, daddy, you won't let me out the garage? She was like, why you over here? I'm like, Zim, I was about to be like, why you waiting in here with me? Boo. Y'all miss me. Hey y'all, what's up? Oh my God, this feels so weird. Like just talking to my camera feels so weird again. I have not been on here in months. Like it's been, you all see these bags? Do you all see these bags? Do you all see how I look? Like your girl been stressed. I've been going through some things. And today I just want to take you all with me. I have a couple errands to run and it's just giving vlog slash lifestyle update. You know, a lot of things has changed. As you guys may see from my background, I'm still in LA. It's been months later and we're going to get into all that later. But, oh my goodness, like I'm so excited to be back and I'm back and I'm better. Y'all know what I mean? Back and I'm better or whatever um, Bryson Treller said. But Done. Right. So I have so much stuff to do today, and I have so much stuff to tell you guys. I'm so excited. Stay tuned for this vlog slash lifestyle video. Y'all know how y'all just got a lot of shit to do, and you know you need to get up and do the shit, but it's like you're kind of like stressed because you know you have so much to do, so you don't want to get up and do the shit. That's like how I'm feeling. Let's go. Let me go put on my sneakers. So we can get this day started. And y'all, I can tell y'all the tea because it is motherfucking tea, baby. Sizzling hot. All my bad ass bitches pay attention. I'm just gonna show y'all what. Y'all gonna be, y'all gonna think I'm crazy. I live in LA and I'm always cold, but I'm not anemic. I've been tested for it multiple times. Y'all look at my thermostat. That says 79 degrees. I don't know what's the weather. Let's go see the weather go outside this is why no bitch we're gonna go outside when we get outside i need to put my sneakers on and leave i need to put my sneakers on and leave this is why i'm always late to stuff i can never make it on time so we're gonna see outside when we get outside okay this is my little outfit for the day so i look a mess y'all <laughs> literally this is how nurses are on their day off like i never feel like getting cute anymore but listen we out we out we out here and i made this and i got it from target call me bob the builder period first of all y'all let me tell you how this freaking guy wait 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 let me show you on my new car because i got a new car and everything oh my god let me show y'all i got my california boots it's cute and it's just a little it's my car but it's just gonna be temporary before I get my luxury car, but they put your girl in a 2021 for no reason. And I ain't even had to pay for nothing. But it's so cute, y'all. Look, look, look. This is where my push to start is now. Look. Cute as shit, bitch. But anyway, let me So it's this guy that work at my apartment building on the weekends. And like when I was a day shift nurse, I used to see him all the time. But now that I'm night shift, I rarely see him. But I just saw him like walking past and I'm so happy I got on my Baccarat perfume because I know he was smelling this. Anyway, he looked just like Ghost from Power. And if you know me, you know Omari Hardwick has my heart, baby. I love him. And this guy remind he works at like in the valet at my apartment and he just looks just like ghosts like he wear the, the black suit to everything and i'm just like damn daddy and i don't be seeing him like that i want to show y'all but y'all know i'm so scared and i don't know how to make things like incognito like you know like i'm like not sneaky i'm like the least sneakiest person ever and oh my god when my mom so i've been told my mom that he looked like ghosts and me and my friends call him ghost why when my mom came up here for mother's day she was like, oh my God, did you ever see the show Power? You look just like ghosts. I'm just like, I ain't even gonna get into her, but my mom and my dad are doing well. I love them to death. They're literally my angels, but she going fucking, she just is so, she is so petty. Like she reminded me of the mom from Friday when she was like, hey girl, how you doing? Fine, I'm on my way to work. Call me when you get home. 
Okay. That's how my she's that fake. Like he was all blushed in the face, smiling and cracking the fuck up. Talk about everybody tell him that. But anyway, I'm gonna try to record him when I'm leaving. But y'all know I'm not like sneaky so he gonna see me i know he's gonna see me but i'ma just pretend like i'm talking on my phone so he can think i'm like on facetime and i'ma look at my phone even though we're gonna be trying to record i don't know we're gonna try to see because i might get nervous when i do it okay guys first place i'm thinking about going is to get my covid vaccine because i mean sorry the covid swab the nose test pcr um because I need it for something that I'll get into a little later with y'all. Y'all gotta keep staying tuned. The longer y'all stay tuned, the more juicier it's gonna get, the more motherfucking tea y'all gonna get, baby. Period. Okay, this is the teapot. So, yeah, let me show y'all ghosts real quick. <laughs> y'all, I really must be a cold ass bitch. Why do I be so cold? I figure, let me just put the damn video recording on now. Let me make sure my flash not on. I can't, y'all. I can't go this way, so we can't see ghosts. I'm gonna show y'all when I come back in the crib. And he down there too. I gotta leave on Hill Street. I'm pissed. Oh, I'm hurt. I'm so sorry, y'all. I didn't even leave through valet. Oh my God, y'all. So tell me why I couldn't go through valet because they were doing like this power wash yesterday. Um, in my apartment, like in the parking lot or whatever. I guess they were like washing the parking garage. I don't know, but we had to park. In one mile, turn right onto West Washington Boulevard. We had to park on the other side, like where the guests usually park. And you know, we, did, we didn't have to pay for parking, but I couldn't get out the parking lot. Usually I drive through valet. Like after I park my car in my apartment, I drive through valet to get out. Um, but this time we was on a whole different side, so I couldn't drive past valet and do it basically like where we were parking it the thing was trying to make us pay for it or whatever and i'm like i'm not paying for shit so i was like pressing the button i'm like oh my god oh my god like can somebody come on like i'm using my key fob to see like if that's gonna let the, let the let the gate up and then i just look up and seen my boo y'all he was right there and i couldn't grab my camera to show y'all fuck y'all ghost Save the day. I was like, damn daddy. I don't know what's going on with my contacts. But I was like, damn daddy, you won't let me out the garage. She was like, why you over here? I'm like, damn, I was about to be like, why you ain't in here with me? Boo. So yeah. Um I be having to watch out because these people in LA can't drive and I already can't drive either. So shit. Like I'ma show hopefully by the time I get home, he's gonna still be on duty because I really wanna show y'all him. Like I really hope he's still there. I really thought I was slick and I had a diabolical plan at my sleeve and I was really gonna show y'all what he looked like. And it was unsuccessful, but I'ma see him again. Hopefully soon, before I leave tomorrow. Stay tuned for more juice. Also, like I have on these cheap eyelashes, right? And I don't know, my eyes are so dry. It could be my contacts. It could be my actual eyeball. We did not drink enough water today yet. It's only what, 11 o'clock? And, or, let me tell you about my ghetto ass. I use freaking, um, what's that glue? That, not Ghost Bond. That other glue for the front tooth that I ran out of lash glue. And I think I'm like going blind or something. Zero out of 10 would not recommend. I feel like Patchy the motherfucking pirate in this bitch. Can't see. All right, I got five minutes till I get to Rite Aid, so I might as well tell y'all a quick little story time. Okay, so basically, where I last left off on my YouTube channel was just uh, like a day appointment video and like some um, try on hauls. I think that you guys like those a lot, so I'm definitely going to keep those up. Basically what happened was I got settled in into my new apartment. Um, I was having so much fun and going out. Me and my friends went to brunch this one day and we got we got there late per usual because Janae can never be on time. It's because I got there late, like me and my one friend had to like catch up with the drinks because they were like, they were like, this is the last call for drinks and blah, blah, blah. So, we wind up ordering so much shit. Like we ordered like a bottle. We ordered mimosas. We had shots. Go past this light. Then at the next one. Shut up, Siri. I was just getting to the good part. 
So we then they're talking about some, they're closing that part of the brunch spot. We were at EPLP. EPLP is like two at the light. Turn ah, I heard you. E. So we drinking or whatever. And they were like, oh, well, you know, we're about to close down because we got to get ready for dinner for like the dinner time. Like you guys missed the brunch. So basically you have 20 minutes to finish all your stuff. I'm like, why would y'all tell us this after we just paid to have all these bottles delivered to the table? Like the bill was mad high. So I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's drink it. We all drinks it. We're drunk as fuck at this point. It was just like a fun hot mess, right? Then we saw B. Simone. So I go over there and I was talking to V. Simone and we took a picture. Turn left onto Magnolia Avenue. Uh, then turn left onto West 20th Street. Wait, Siri, because I'm going to have to bust a Yui. I don't, I don't, I don't know if LA know about a Yui. Turn left onto South New England Sis, Street. ain't nobody then turning turn left. left. Ain't nobody turning left. We busting the Yui. So then we, we took a picture and we was having fun or whatever. And then we get up. Mind you, we were on a rooftop. You take an elevator to get up to the rooftop. But for some reason, me and Brittany found stairs, right? So I don't know how. Girl, what's up? What are you doing? Hold on. I don't know how me and Brittany found stairs. But girl, we had on heels. And then I'm like, let's take our heels off so we don't fall down the stairs. I don't know why it didn't click to me and Brittany that, um, yeah, you guys literally caught an elevator here you need to find the elevator but we walked down the steps turn left into the parking lot then arrive at your destination i trip over my feet fall down the steps literally my knee pops out of socket like popped out of place and popped back in and because it popped out of place arrived i ripped two of my ligaments in my knee so i was down bad I was like not in the good mind space, you know, I had just got a, well, I had just had an interview for my dream job in labor and delivery. And, you know, all I could think about was, um, you know, how am I going to do this? Like, what if I need surgery? If I'm not working, how am I going to pay my rent? My rent is high AF, like I need a man, okay, period. And that's another thing. I still don't got me one of those. <laughs> And I'm just like, okay, like, I don't know, like, really, like, what I'm going to do. Like, so with that whole thing, like, I was going to make it a story time because at first I thought it was funny. But, like, it really was, like, not that funny. Like, I was really out for a long time because of this. Like, it really had me down. And I don't like to ask people for help. Like, I kind of just, like, thug stuff out on my own. Then that Sunday... Or no, that Sunday, I think that was the Sunday we went out. That Wednesday, I got a call that I did get the job for labor and delivery. So, I was then stressed out even more because I'm like, if I can't work now. And they told me, because when I applied for the interview, they was like, well, mate, you will probably have you starting in the fall with the fall group. But they, I guess they liked me so much. They was like, no, you can start next month. And I was like... And I didn't want to tell them that I had this injury because it's like, you know, like I didn't want them to like, oh, but then yeah, you can start in the fall or maybe next time or no, girl, I'm going to take that job and not say not a word. So I had to deal with so much like you guys. I had to prepare for this job. I had to like struggle. I was literally like almost struggling, like with not working and living in L.A. Like it was just a hot mess. So then. They wind up telling me that I just needed physical therapy and I didn't need to get surgery or anything. So I was happy for that. Um, and I like just wore my knee brace to work to make a couple extra dollars, quit that travel job and started working there. Literally the same hospital as the, the travel ICU job that I had. Why would somebody come park next to me? That's so ghetto. Like I hate when people are next to me. Um, but I did. Yeah. And now I'm a labor and delivery. I literally wanted to make this uh, my own separate video because it, 
everybody y'all knew if y'all are real ones and knew me from the beginning when i started nursing school y'all knew i wanted to do labor and delivery and i finally am a labor and delivery nurse in beverly hills at that so like it's a really really good hospital and i just love everything about it i love my patients i love the work i love everything like i love the babies it's just i've never been happy to be at work like of course it comes with its up and ups and downs and you know it can be really busy and stressful but like overall this specialty was made for me like this and i feel like aesthetics was made for me so yes guys i'm finally at lnz nurse and i've been at lnz nurse for seven months y'all that's how i know i feel so bad and this video probably not gonna get no views but I've been a labor and delivery nurse for seven months and I have not told y'all I really want to, I'm going to make another video because it's so much that I want to tell y'all about this job. But yes, I'm a labor and delivery nurse and that means I officially, I officially live in LA. I do not just travel here anymore. I've been living in LA for like a year now, a year and a couple months. So yes your girl is doing big things your girl is doing big things and i still have like a lot that i want to do so yeah guys i'm about to walk into cvs and get this covid swab and after each little thing i'm gonna tell y'all some more juice some more juice okay say so so actually y'all it's a drive through one hi yes I like your pink mask, it's cute. Your pink mask is cute. <laughs> Y'all, I hate getting these. Yes. Okay, so you're gonna go for them two days. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh my god, I do these for my patients every day, and now I'm just like, uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. it's oh, yeah. They are doing a crazy hiring spree. They are. I they are. That. Even with travel nurses. Graduated. Right, right, right. And so they were like, oh, we need at least a year to and I was like, that's fine. That's yeah, fine. that'll, that'll be fast. They are hiring. I'm a travel nurse. And then I just like, yes. yeah, I'm not even from California, but now I live here. So. <laughs> oh, that's good. Yes. Well, Thank you. Welcome. All right, here we go. Uh <laughs> oh. I hope I'm not no buggy. <laughs> Thanks. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna head over to Beverly Hills because that's where I get waxed at, and it's already 11:50, so it's noon, and my appointment with her is 1:30, and I know how I get, especially at Target. So I'ma just head over to Beverly Hills and see if I can find a Target that's like you know out there that's close to where I'm gonna be. So hopefully I find one. Yeah, that was really like the best and easiest COVID test ever. Like it was not bad at all. So check, one thing is already off my freaking list of things to do. I'm doing good, bitch, you doing a good job. Bitch, yeah, you doing a good job. I really don't, really, I really don't know 100% what I need from Target. It's just gonna be like little pick me up things um, before I leave for tomorrow. So basically, tomorrow I am going to Miami. And this is so crazy because I'm such a city girl, but I've never been to Miami. I'm getting a BBO in Miami. So I'm so excited. And I really wasn't going to share this with anybody, but I felt like YouTube has helped me a lot with the research that I've been doing. So like, why not, you know, tell everybody my little situation. But anyway, subscribe. Um, y'all are definitely going to get the tea because y'all know I have no filter, obviously. And I give it to y'all raw. I like, I like. <laughs> but I just give it to y'all raw and I'm so excited. And I'll be letting you guys know about my doctor and everything once I make my vlog. So yes, that is some more tea. I've been just trying to like work, work, work to stack for my surgery because child, he expensive. Okay, he high as shit. 
so that's what I've been doing I literally have been working like I'd be working five days in a row as a nurse we work we have to work three days a week but I'd be working like five days in a row and I've been just working and like literally since I've been back at work with labor and delivery I've been working 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 like and that's just all I've been doing I haven't been really spending time for myself like I'll give myself a few self-care days but I haven't really been like doing things that I enjoy like YouTube which is like I now that the BB like the surgery now that the surgery is around the corner I can get back to what I like to do on my free time other than picking up extra for work so yeah guys the right lane to take the exit onto the that is some freaking tea baby Nene gonna be getting a damn ass Nene gonna be getting a booty Nene gonna be flat stomach gonna be flat ass gonna be fat oh y'all I'm about to make me a wreck today stomach gonna be flat ass gonna be fat he gonna like it like that. Hey. Y'all, so I literally have not been recording since I've been in here. As number one is crowded AF. And number two, um, I was trying to be in and out. Didn't want to keep stopping. But this is the stuff that I got so far. Y'all, and the Starbucks line is literally too long. It's already about to be one o'clock. I'm not near Beverly Hills. I was like, I don't have time to be sitting here playing with Starbucks. Like, I hate being late for stuff and I need to really work on my time management because it sucks so bad. But yeah, I just bought a couple things. If this thing hit me, my surgery gonna be paid for, baby. But I just bought a couple things that I needed that I ordered from Amazon that didn't come and my trip like I have to leave tomorrow so just a couple things not a true target run so guys I'm here I'm looking a hot mess like yo I cannot wait to get my hair done so yeah I'm back to my boo in Beverly Hills sashay wax everybody follow her on the gram she said five minutes so I'm waiting in my car until it's time to go in and I usually take oh I think this her right here all right, guys, I'll be back. Hello. Hi, Hi, how are you? So, guys, the legs were really well. I missed my boobs so much. Like, I kept cheating and going to the European wax. My ladies get so yeah. Sashay wax, Beverly Hills, and I just feel so good. And now I'm on my way to get something to eat. So apparent so right now it's 2 p.m. I'm literally so tired. I've been up all day. It's 2 p.m. and I have to be at the hair salon by three. But I'm hungry and I hate sitting in the hair salon all day like with nothing on my belly so and i only ate a little bit of chips today like that's it like some kettle In chips Turn right onto West Third Street. so i'm over here by my job i'm hoping like wherever i get my hair done it is actually close and not far because then it'll give me like a good 20 minutes to eat and i'll get there and they do valet at the place that i get my hair done at so i don't have to worry about finding parking and just get my hair done, chill, and literally finish my night. I'm so happy that everything is going smoothly right now because literally when I'm trying to get things done, it's always something. So I'm grateful that everything and my time management is good and everything is just falling into place. So yeah, guys. Oh my gosh. I'm so scared but so excited. Like I can't believe I'm really going to be in Miami tomorrow. Like literally... About to get a flight everything is literally like working out so maybe that's like making me less anxious because everything's working out you know what i mean like usually when i feel like things are going to go wrong i get signs things don't happen the way i need them to happen but like everything has been smooth so far so i'm really grateful i'm really excited go get this hair slayed or whatever so guys i'm here 
I am at, I think it's called Sequoia. I don't know if I pronounced it right, but they make healthy, like vegan food. And I got like this salad and some queso and chips. Okay guys, sorry for the horrible filter. I mean, I'm so sleepy y'all. Sorry for the horrible like quality right now. My room lighting is trash and I just got back in the house. My hair is slayed and laid, honey. My girl got me right. Uh, the hair dispensary on Instagram, follow her. I literally have been up since 12 a.m. this morning. Like that's what time I woke up from my nap after I got off of work. Um, and then I just been up all day. So it's like, I'm very tired. I did so much today. The last tea of my life update that I wanted to tell you guys that I am moving in January. I am leaving downtown LA and I moved into Beverly Hills. And you guys remember from my other video where I showed you guys my luxury apartment tour that I'm still in. It's currently furnished and it's supposed to be like short term, but I've been here for almost a year. Like when I move, it's going to be a year. So I just kept renewing my little three month lease. So I just wanted something that was more intimate, cozy, comfy. It's smaller, um, but it's closer to work. It's in Beverly Hills and it's beautiful and it's luxury just like this one. Like it has all the same amenities and it's just perfect because it's like 12 minutes from rodale drive eight minutes from work 10 minutes from my gym like 12 minutes from freaking where i get my nails done from 10 minutes from where i get my hair done so everything I, everybody knows i'm always in beverly hills so everything's always in beverly hills so this is perfect for me i just want you guys to stay tuned on all of my journeys my labor and delivery my bbl nursing stuff of course my new move and my you know dating life or whatever that is y'all gotta find me a, a fucking man okay y'all gotta find me a man please comment down below with some men baby god please listen your girl here needs I mean, okay? And I look a little crazy right now, but don't show them this video. Show them another video. <laughs> All right, guys, but um, I'm about to take a nap. I'm, I'm gonna take me a quick nap, wake up, and I'm going to record my um, BBL, everything you need for your BBL, like all the things that I'm packing to take with me to Miami tomorrow, I'll record that. But I'm like, I feel like I'm just so not winded but it's just like my mouth is so dry i just i drink like a gallon of water today and my mouth is still dry because i feel like i just keep talking i just need to wind down take a two hour nap wake up watch power and bmf it'll be like a good i don't know what time is gonna be over here but it's gonna be late like around 11 midnight by the time i'm done both shows and um i'm gonna pack my bags and get get everything ready for me to go so i probably won't be going to sleep till like 3 a.m i'm going to be tired again like it's just going to be a continuous cycle of me being tired whatever so guys i'm going to take this nap i love you all and i promise i'm back i'm back i'm back and i'm motherfucking better i want you better as ever don't let me in Atlanta. baby i'm back okay so subscribe comment like and share Thank you for tuning into my vlog slash tea time. You know, my lifestyle update. Y'all know I love to tell y'all the tea about my life. Um, and just stay tuned. We got some juicy stuff coming up for y'all. Like, juicy. Almost as juicy as me, okay? All right, love y'all. <laughs> Bye.